Hello, welcome to Spurred On. I'm Rhys James, back with another episode of Spursy. You know Spursy by now, those typical Spurs moments that only happen to us. So Spursy, snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. This week's Spursy comes from quite a left field interesting revelation that has come from not from one Roy Keane, famous man Roy Keane, bully but amazing footballer. He has revealed that he was a Spurs fan as a boy and not a United fan because he loved Glenn Hoddle and Clive Allen and wanted to be like those guys. Not only that, but we actually offered Roy Keane a trial at our club and he turned us down because Nottingham Forest had been too good to him and he felt loyal to them. This is the Spursiest thing in the world. Roy Keane would have been the perfect player for us. He was exactly the sort of player we needed in the 90s and early noughties. Rock solid, hard man in centre mid who was a natural born leader. Think of how different things might be now and would have been then if we'd had Roy Keane in the 90s and early noughties. He was exactly the sort of player we needed. He would have attracted other big players because of what he was like. He would have led us to win the league, to win the Champions League, maybe even win the World Cup and we'd still be challenging for all of those competitions now even though we're not eligible for one of them because of the players we'd have attracted and because of our recent history. It's just so Spursy and it's so typical that Forrest were too good to him and he felt too loyal. Annoyingly, loyalty was another trait we could have benefited from in that position. This is almost as bad as the time we found out that Bergkamp supported Spurs. Dennis Bergkamp from the scum, but amazing player, scored that incredible turning goal against Newcastle, one of the best goals of all time. Dennis Bergkamp was a big Spurs fan and apparently was offered, he also loved Glenn Hoddle by the way, so maybe Glenn's the solution, uh, but he was also offered to Alan Sugar, uh, but Alan Sugar said no to him and bought Chris Armstrong instead. Sometimes you've got to be grateful for Daniel Levy. If we still had Alan Sugar, or sorry, Lord Sugar, uh, then not only would we have a team full of players like Chris Armstrong, where we could have had Burkamp, but the whole of Spurs would be running on Amstrad computers, which I'm pretty sure don't even exist, mate. So you're fired, actually. No, you are. Oh, fine, I am as well, but I didn't work for you. Okay, this has been Spursy. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and follow us on Twitter at SpurredOnTV. We've got a Christian Benteke special. Lots of rumours coming in today 